Giants fan. I used to be like kind of into football. Now I don't care about it. Saw they were playing, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear the Giants bodysuit. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel where we focus on beauty, city living, lifestyle, and positivity. If you're new here, don't forget to click that button down below and subscribe, become a member of my squad. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. You have no idea how much you mean to me. Today, we are touring the district apartments. They are in Denver. They're just in a different part of Denver. And you know what? Let's just get straight into the maps and take a look at where these apartments are. Okay, so here is the pin where the apartment comp Complex is Denver like the city is a little bit more up north I don't want to move it more because then it'll show where I live and that's just not your business <laughs> down here just a little fun fact this is what like one of the most rich neighborhoods in the country at least that's what my mom told me because she's obsessed with like learning things here's where the apartment complex is there's a Walmart down the street not far from it and then oh there's also a cemetery oh there's a Target even better Chick-fil-a a Whole Foods a McDonald's a Goodwill oh and literally a King Supers that is actually super nice I remember her saying that actually when I went there you literally don't even have to get in your car and drive to the grocery store you can walk across the street because King Supers is literally right there and right here also in the parking lot there are some other places I think Noodles and Company is one of them across the way you have Panera Bread a sushi place you have Kung Fu Tea it's probably like a five ten minute walk to this park you can play with your dog here the University of Denver is over here so not too far if you just go all the way straight up then there's Denver and you have the Highlands and all of that and then all of the universities over here as well she gave this to me and I saved it to open it on camera with you guys it's literally a card in an envelope i bet this lady does really well because this is so cute very well put together it's a thank you card and i really like if i was moving i would really consider something like this because she took the time to write me a note literally thank you for touring with me it was such a pleasure to meet you we appreciate your interest and giving us the opportunity to earn your residency the district her name is taylor that is awesome. To me, you can already tell that if you move into this place, they're gonna be taking care of you, welcoming community. Oh wow, I got 10% off for Ivy Nails, a gift from Milk and Cake, buy one get one free, valid on cupcakes, froyo, and ice cream. So I don't know if like she wants me to share her information. She doesn't know that I'm filming this for a YouTube video, but just because, you know, of how sweet this is, if you do end up seeing this, Taylor, thank you so much for the tour. You are so sweet. This is her information if you want to move in here. I totally recommend going through her. I don't know what the other agents or yeah, leasing agents are like. I just got a little distracted. So the apartments that I went and toured are in here. They're the two highlighted ones. And so this is building one here where the leasing office is. This is building two and there's a parking garage inside of that. And then this is building three and this is on top of like retail stores. There's a few different stores there. And then there's public parking there, but you'll probably be parking in the parking garage. She said there's five levels to it. Here's all the information on the two units that I toured and they're both currently available. So if you are interested, go ahead and snatch that up. So I have my laptop right here just because honestly, I do so many apartment tours now, it's hard to remember exactly what I'm looking at. And if I do it by memory, this video is not gonna be that good because I don't remember anything about this place. Like when you're walking in, there's a laundry room to the right of you. And honestly, it's huge. There's a lot of space in it. It has a shelf. And I don't think that every single unit has this shelf thing that you can use, but regardless, you do get a pretty nice sized, a nicely sized laundry room. And then 
right out of that, oh, something that I do wanna say, she was saying that she likes this building more because the one bedrooms are a little bit bigger, which is why we decided to look at these. I had originally wanted to look at a two bedroom. She was like, oh my God, like let's check out the one bedrooms. They're so much bigger. They have these wooden beams and she was so right. Like I was totally vibing with the one bedroom more than I would have a two bedroom just because of the space. Like it literally felt like a house. I don't know how important that is to you guys, but I love of having space I have a small dog and I could only imagine like if I had big dogs I would not want to live a tiny apartment I think my dog would be miserable like right now with my size dog he's living his best life in this apartment it's literally like a huge house for him so the wooden beams were super cool and then literally you have a half bathroom like one and a half bathroom so here's the first bathroom just a standard bathroom right when you walk in that's super nice to have this living area is huge so the kitchen honestly is such a vibe i really like it again with the wooden beams across the ceiling and then this area over here you could use as like an office space which is what i was talking to her about i said you know i wanted to get a two bedroom because i might want to get an office like i'm really talking to these people like i'm about to move in and she's like yes like I totally feel that, but let me show you this one bedroom because you can make this area like a little bit of an office area and still have your room separate. So I do really like that. And then again, with these built-in shelves on the sides of the wall, like you just have to buy less things. You have more area for storage and then you get a decently sized balcony. I mean, honestly, it's, I like this side of the balcony. You can see buildings one and two. And the living room, you guys, is just huge. Like, it's just huge. I don't know how else to say it. I love the size of the living room. You also get a fireplace, which is super nice. Check out this bedroom. This bedroom is huge. And the windows are huge across the entire place. You get a stand-in shower with the bathtub, super nice. So if you're into taking baths, you can do that. The pricing of this place is what gets me because the two bedroom is $2,000 and it's a little bit outside of Denver, but you get a two bedroom or yeah, the two bedrooms are 2,000. What we toured is also 2,000. So it's like you're getting more bang for your buck, but you're further from the city. So it really kind of depends like what you're looking for. One that has the new flooring so again the laundry room with the half bath it's exactly the same it's the exact same layout as the one we just toured the only difference is in this one it has the hardwood flooring or the laminated flooring which I really think this pulls the cabinets and the countertops all together and honestly the fact that it matches the beams so well the cabinets so well like it really just looks so much better now the bedroom does still have rug, but not all units do. That is something to consider. If you don't care about the carpet in the bedroom, then you won't have an issue. But if you would totally rather have 100% laminate or wood, then be sure to ask for that. And then again, for this unit, the closet does have carpet. Some of the units do have all hard wood or laminate. I'm not 100% sure what it was. I can't remember. Let's go over the fees really quick for you guys. So they have flexible lease terms available four to 12 months. Each lease term is priced individually. I'm assuming that if you do a four term lease, you're gonna be paying through the roof. I wouldn't recommend super short leases, personally. Pricing and availability is subject to change daily. So the application fee is $16 per applicant. Administrative fee is $400 per applicant. Holding fee for a studio is $125. For a one bedroom, it's $150. For a two bedroom, it is $175. I am sorry if you can hear the people above me making so much goddamn noise. <laughs> Cause I know that you guys can always hear them walking over my talking and I, I know that you can hear it and I've been focusing on it more. Somebody was living above me for an entire year before this and I never heard them walking around. I'm tired of it. Listen, that's just me being bratty. It's annoying for me. Wait to film maybe when they're sleeping. For a two bedroom, it is 175. If you cancel within 72 hours and 
I literally cannot. If you cancel within 72 hours, you get your fees back. So there is no security deposit with approved credit. If your credit does not get approved, you could pay up to one month of rent for the deposit. Unreserved parking is $35. Reserved parking is $60. A storage unit can range from $50 to $85 per month, and that's optional. Package fee is a one-time payment per lease term, and that's $25. And their community is pet friendly, so you can bring your cats and dogs with certain breed restriction and a maximum of two pets per apartment. Weight limits may apply. So the non-refundable pet fee is $500 for one pet and $650 for two pets. Pet rent is $50 a month for one pet or $75 dollars a month for two pets. Miscellaneous information, renter's insurance is required with a $100,000 minimum personal liability. Residents are responsible for utilities billed separately through providers. That's all the information. Okay, so what do you guys think about this place? What are your thoughts? I mean, the fact that this one bedroom is literally the same price of what I pay now, but it's almost double the size and square feet. It's 400 square feet bigger than what I have now. That's pretty crazy, but I also live in the city, so closer to the city. I still probably would want the two bedroom just because it's the same exact price, but I do really like the one bedroom. I just like having the idea of having a whole office that would be separate and like for me personally, having room to film in, stuff like that. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe, become a member of my squad. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know you like it, so that the algorithm knows you like it and pushes it out to other people and hopefully help more people like you find an apartment in Denver. And let me know if there are any places that you guys wanna see down below so I can be sure to at least try and check them out for you. I at least hope you guys understand. I do have a full-time job. It is really stressful working in sales. Sometimes I just don't have the mental capacity to like get a bunch of videos up or it's hard, <laughs> but I'm trying my best and I'm really happy to have all of you here. So thanks so much again. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Fearless.